Hello and welcome to another plugin review. Today on the plate we got a plugin called Level Tools. Before we begin video, be sure to check out our host BerryByte. They are a very reputable and very good host. And let's begin. Now, you might be wondering, what is this plugin? You might be asking, wondering, it's the same. Well, let me show you and you will be amazed. So the Level Tools plugin brings to leveling to your Minecraft server as the plugin name suggests. And what do those levels do? Well, the shot of plugin features, permissions, placeholders and comments are coming up right now on your screen. Or if you want to be able to copy them, visit the link in the description and let's continue. And let me show you now the plugin configuration and how it works. So let's get the boring part out first. So this is the configuration and I apologize in advance if you hear me gasping for air. That is because I'm a bit of sick and you know, I'm losing air more than I would like to do. So I apologize then for advance, but let's get with the config. So the important parts of these plugins are max level, you can set the max level. This one is not uh, important for you. Messages, if you want to customize any messages the players receive. Anvil, this, as you can see, you have three options, higher of both, lower of both, and uh, or add both. And again, up to you how you set it up. You have a level XP formula, which as you can see, well, is a level XP formula, how the tools are level up. And this option, I would change it to false, but if you want, you can leave it on and see how it performs on your server. Level up sound, self-explanatory, default block XP modifier. So this is a default block XP modifier, which will count for all the blocks except those blocks that are set up here. So this counts for any blocks that don't have any custom values set in here. So if one, for example, as we have here to diamond or give more tool XP, or for example, if you want, let's say, I don't know, you copy this and you'd add, let's say, emerald or, and let's say I want it to set minimum to seven and maximum to 14. Now, this block, well, all the blocks you have in your Minecraft world will give default XP you have here, but Emerald and Diamond Ore will give out those two values. Same goes for Combat and yeah, as you can see, you can set up custom mobs here. So if you want to, for example, have, I don't know, guests or Blazes, like in this scenario, give more XP up to your own will and go crazy with it. And the next one is a list that prevents allow the block list text from giving XP and break, so you can exclude some blocks. For example, a fire, which technically is a block, but it's not a block, you can exclude it. But you don't need to touch this because the default configuration is okay. And entity list, so if you want to whitelist or blacklist any entities, and yeah, as you can see, the default is listed as player, but you can remove it if you want players to give XP on kill 2. Then you have option disabled worlds. If you want to disable plugin in some of the worlds, for example, you want or you don't want it to work in normal world, but you want it to work in nether, you can do that. Or for example, if you have a classic world nether end and you have some kind of third world, for example, let's say adventure world, you can have it disabled in those three worlds and have it enabled in adventure mode or adventure world. So yeah, a lot of customization is on here. The last part is tool rewards. And what are the tool rewards? As you can see, well, they are basically what you get at what, or at what you get at each level up you do. So for example, at level one, you get efficiency one. At level three, you get efficiency three, uh, two, sorry. And for example, at level 30, you get fortune three on your pickaxe or on your tool. And so on and so on. As you can see, then you have sword rewards. You can configure it as every want. I'm not sure if it goes over the normal Minecraft, well, 
I answered my own questions. It goes over because sharpness 7 and I'm breaking 10 are not normal Minecraft rewards. But as you can see, you can go over. But if I'm not wrong, don't go over number 10 because after that, the enchants are shown. Well, actually, let me show you. So in my hands, actually, my hands, I have two shells I want to show you. So first one. Oh, where did he go? Come, come home. Okay. No. Okay. First one, as you can see, is enchantment level 18. And this is how it shows on your items. Now, I don't know if there's a plugin that can make this look a bit nicer. Maybe you can do some kind of trickery with hiding NVT tags, yada, yada, yada. But I'm not going to show you that because personally, I wouldn't know how to do that. But as you can see, efficiency 10 is efficiency X and it looks nice in Roman numerals and you don't have any issues. But efficiency 11, eh, if I wouldn't have to have those kind of enchants over the limit, I wouldn't. So yeah, let's continue and get back to configuration. And we are back to configuration file, the boring file. Anyways, as you can see, same goes for bow, loot, uh, swords and tools enchants. So that's up to you to configure or just run, you know, default configuration. And come on, let's go down. Then you have the display. So this is how the, you know, plugin notifies you that, hey, your tool gained an XP level. So, you know, let me just show you that. For example, we have this example shovel I used to already dig this hole. And as you can see, it has the, well, description or whatever you want to call it, lore of the item in uh, below it, in the, well, lore of the item. But as you can see, for example, if you want to mine, it shows in your action bar, or how is it called? And it dynamically updates as you mine more, and it updates it on the tool. So yeah, this is the section you edit the part we just shown. Or for example, if you don't want to have spaces on lore so it's not so spaced up, or you want to do, I don't know, some kind of different display of progression, you can do that here on the display section. And as you can see, hide attributes. Yeah, it's basically recommended to keep this true to prevent lore spam. Then we have the next configuration for a progress bar. This I wouldn't change unless you have some kind of different system in your mind that you would like to, you know, use for the tool when they level up. But as this, I would leave it, it's perfect. Mwah. Let's get back to the game. And we are back in the game on this lovely display. So if you didn't know, this is how you craft the iron pickaxe. So you might be wondering, how are we gonna get, you know, tools to level up? Well, with this plugin, it's pretty simple. All you need is few sticks and iron ingots or any pickaxe you want. And voila, you created iron pickaxe. And as you can see, it looks normal, right? Nothing changes, but, 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 but. As soon as you touch, or for this example, mine cobblestone, it will show, as you can see, the XP levels. So let's mine a bit more. And as you can see, the display is all over here. Now, if you remember, we said diamond ore, or, or, and emerald ore to have a different XP values, you know, for when we mine them, so let's test it out. And let's begin with this amazing compilation. So stone, as you can see, gives that much XP and diamond suddenly, wow, a lot more XP. And emerald, holy guys, it gives 10 XP per mined emerald. Amazing. Wow. Now, as you can see, this plugin doesn't work for armor. Obviously, because it's called leveled tools. So if you want to level up your armor and not die from the zombies so easily, well, this is not a plugin for you. But yeah, that would be a simple leveling tools plugin. If you want this plugin on your server, you know where to find the download link down in the description, of course. It's not gonna run away, so, you know, just be sure to click on it. But anyways, yeah, thank you guys for watching, hope you found this plugin review amazing, awesome, you know, whatever word to this the best. But yeah, 
with all of that said, stay amazing and see you guys in the next video. Bye!